Good morning, everybody. I wanted to show you an update on the planners that I'm using this year and how I'm using them. The first one is this Erin Condren. And she came out with these. They were really on sale. They were like 10 bucks when I got it. So this is the Focused Productivity, productivity Planner. Okay. And I use this for my side hustle. So let me just show you March. So I color code because that's what I do. And so you can see here what I have is color coded different towns that I do minutes for. So Mattapoise it right now I'm doing Select Board, ConCom Planning, and Board of Health. Wareham is green. I'm doing ZBA and ConCom. And Carver is in there as well. I only they only meet once a month or once every other month. But this gives me an idea when meetings are and then you know what I can expect to be paid. Although as we all know, I've talked about it more than once. Sometimes Wareham takes a long time to pay me. So they actually owe me for January. I just processed my February timesheet. So now they owe me for January and February. And Mattapoisa, I'm waiting for two paychecks uh, two weeks in a row. So I just write that down. Like this is in green. So it's Wareham submitted February for Wareham. And then um, when the meetings are. So this week... Uh, no, this week. I think I have, oh yeah, Wareham ZBA. This is my personal uh, finance committee. It's for my town that I actually am on, uh, am I, I'm a member, so I don't do minutes for them. And I don't know if there's any in between here for Mattapoisett. Uh, it's Wareham and Mattapoisett that I usually do on a regular basis. And then just over here, I keep track of you know, what monies I should be receiving in. Now, my side hustle money is strictly for, um, well, because I'm, because I'm expecting quite a bit in March, hopefully, if I get paid correctly, then I think I will, um, you know, put it some toward credit cards, but I also use it in my sinking funds. So the second one that I use is a grace book, which this is a plum paper. I like plum paper. I mean, I've used it in the past. I'll just show you February since we're past, but this is how I keep tabs of Gracie's schedule and the people that are um, going to watch her. So Grace is in school from nine to quarter three. So we have someone come in the morning and get her ready. And then someone in the afternoon who hangs out with her till we get home from work. So again, I just keep track of who's working when. And then I have to keep track of their hours total for the week um, because that's how they get paid. So some of the people get paid directly from me. Um, and some people get paid through a PCA, personal care attendant program. This is my newest one. Uh, I got this about a week ago. I haven't shown it to you, but look at that cover. So pretty. I have Patty's Purse written on here. This is a Colibri planner. This is a seven by nine. And kind of just kind of repeating a lot of the same stuff that I do. But this is, I took this, I started it in March. I put my income in here, what's expected for the month my rollover, and then what bills that I'm paying or responsible for for the month. And then I'll go back and put the actuals at the end of the month. Goals and to-do, you know, I have pay off big lots, extra on a credit card. Second goal, reduce groceries, dine out by eating from freezer and pantry, meal planning. And then my third goal <clears throat> is $50 extra every week on a credit card. So this month, for March, it's going to be big lots because that's my goal to pay off. That's the smallest balance. And then I'll just write down any monthly to-dos. And then there's a calendar. And right now I'm just using the calendar to track when I receive um, money in inflow and any credit card payments that I pay from here. And then they have a couple of expense trackers. One, two, I think there's four, three, four... And then it goes right into the second month. So if you're looking for a budget planner that's simple, you know, that you maybe get paid monthly and you don't want like the budget mom because it's big and it has a lot of different pages, this would be actually a good one for you because it just has the monthly budget, the goals to do, and then it goes right into expense trackers. So if you're looking for a simple budget book, then I would go with the Colibri Planner. 
uh, actually it's called the Colibri Planner like budget book. So this one I'll just show you. This is an Erin Condren as well, but this is for my husband's law business. And I use that to track his income and expenses, just like I do all the others. Okay, and this one is the, um, I do get one of these a year. This is the Erin Condren monthly planner. And in here, I track what, what we spend when on a daily basis. And then I do some goals as well for the month. I do a monthly budget sheet like this. And this is everything. So that's like a, you know, this definitely, this book definitely is for, uh, you know, all, everything. And then I do the weeks, um, um, <clears throat> you know, that we get paid and what we're, what we're spending, you know, out of our joint account, like on a, a weekly, monthly basis. And then finally, the last one, because, you know, can't, never can have enough planners. As long as they have all have a purpose and they're helping me you know, to define that purpose, then really that's all that matters. This is the Colibri, and you know, you all know that I really love this one now. And <clears throat> this is an A5. I'll go right to March. Uh, da, 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 da. And this was this week. And I've already decorated with stickers for next week. I took one of these. I just started watching a new person that does like a monthly meal plan. I'm going to kind of write in there tonight what's going on for the week as far as meal planning but this is my spread for this week i like putting down what we eat down here you know just to give you ideas for the future if you really like the meal uh, i got a friend's birthday my weigh-in day <clears throat> and a couple of birthday parties next week for grace grace and her friends so those are all my planners Again, whether it's one planner you're using or six, each one that I have are for all separate things. And I really enjoy planners because I enjoy decorating them. I have a lot of stickers and, <clears throat> you know, that's my prerogative, right? I do want to show you this last thing that I got last year. This shelving. Look at my pens. Ooh, so pretty. That cute little girl right there is me. And then I got this from Hobby Lobby last year. I really, really like it. And I keep all my stickers in it. Yes, I know. I have a lot of stickers. Stop buying stickers. So like in here, I just like the monthly, you know, anything. And it keeps it all in one place. I really like it. I do just need to clean up. Like these are all the budget ones. Um, I have a draw like just for Sarah Marie. And then I have a draw for, uh, I forgot who, who this is, but uh, I, I kind of, sometimes I get it from her because she has these packs. Oh, Planner Kate. Because she has these, these packs on sale and then the, you have all kinds of different stickers inside. So let me know down below where you leave, keep all your stickers. Again, thanks for watching. I appreciate you being here and have a good week.